Hello, uh, this is another video for the Aussie Rocks projects and also for the RC Tractors website. It can be useful for those guys too. Uh, it's just going to be a basic how to for uh, using LEDs and what you need to know really. Um, there was a couple of questions on the 7 segment LED display uh, video that I done. Uh, most of them were related to uh, why I used the transistor. So I'm just going to show you reasoning behind that. But first, we'll just start with the basics of uh, how you how you'd set up an LED. So, most important thing you need to know is this equation here. This is to calculate the resistance you need, and it's the resistance is equal to the supplied voltage minus the LED dropout voltage all over the current. So. In this case, uh, I don't actually know the uh, LED voltage. I, I got this uh, as part of a kit with an Arduino, and it just came with this resistor for um, for lighting these LEDs. But I know that the LED is 218 volts. I know that the Aussie Rocks Projects board is supplying it with 5 volts, so that's the resistance to supply voltage. I can measure the current. If I plug in my multimeter here, now we have 12.8 uh, milliamps, 12.8, 12.9. .8, 12 um, so then I can rearrange my equation to be the LED voltage equal to the supply voltage minus the resistance by the current. So now filling that in, I have 5 volts minus the 218 ohms uh, multiplied by 12.9 by 10 to the minus 3 amps uh, if they have amps they are not milliamps and that means that the LED voltage is around about 2.19 volts now that's given us 12.9 milliamps and as you can see the LED is quite bright that's that would be reasonable current a kind of a rule of thumb is to keep it below 20 milliamps if you know if it, unless you actually have a spec sheet that says this the LED voltage is this and the uh, LED current is a different number so if you know those numbers stick to those numbers if you don't then you kind of have to uh, well try and figure them out and play it as safe as you can but as a rule of thumb try and stick below 20 milliamps uh, another thing about uh, why you would stick below 20 milliamps is the microcontroller can only output uh, 20 milliamps to a single pin so at 12.9 milliamps you're definitely not going to damage the microcontroller's output pin uh, if you were lighting that LED in that setup uh, so uh, we worked out the the voltage there and that that could be useful as well if, if you'd taken out the if you're taking the LED from an old, we'll say an old RC toy or any device that had LEDs and you just happen to to uh, dismantle it and take the LEDs that you wanted. If you used that equation you'd have a rough idea of the voltage for the LED and you can work out the current you want. Um, now, that's, that's alright if you're only lighting one LED. So, Next we're going to try and light two LEDs and now we know that the voltage is uh, around 2.2 volts so we can't just we can't just put the two LEDs uh, in series across that voltage because we're supplying 5 volts so it's a little bit too much so I worked out that the uh, resistance I'd need is around about uh, 30, 30 ohms something like that so I have two 15 ohm resistors here and then we just Stick this on here. Now, with the two LEDs, they're they're uh, more than bright enough for for a user to see them. There'll be no problem there, and we're drawing 18 milliamps. Now that's still within the limits of the PIC microcontroller. But remember, beforehand we were using uh, we were drawing 12 milliamps. So now each LED can't possibly be drawn any more than 9 milliamps each because the total is 18 milliamps so we're not really getting up to full brightness there but 
as you can see with those LEDs that works quite well so next what we're going to do is we're going to move to super bright LEDs and these these three millimeter super bright green LEDs they take uh, or they have a voltage of um, I think it's 3.3 volts across them so we know we're supplying 5 volts so now we're going to light up these two 3.3 volts which uh, theoretically would need a uh, 6.6 volts uh, drop across them but we'll see what happens so we, we light up these LEDs as you can see actually you mightn't really be able to see on the on the camera bus uh, they're very very dim and these are supposed to be super bright LEDs but look on our multimeter we have no milliamps so what's happening there what's in fact happening is the way we have it set up uh, we haven't given it enough of a voltage drop so it's only able to draw 10.9 milliamps or 10.9 microamps sorry so we would be able to probably drive these batteries from a from a button cell for years it's not really that useful for any application they're just a little bit a little bit too dull if you wanted if you wanted LEDs that uh, dim you would have just bought normal LEDs so next thing to do is put the two LEDs in parallel because we've only 5 volts so to get the most out of the LEDs we have to put them in parallel and we have a resistance here I think that's 120 ohms just because that was a resistor I had available so let's see what happens now. I have to put this up to milliamps. And we come back to our LEDs here. Now that's much brighter. And we're drawing 28 milliamps. Now here's the problem that uh, that I was saying with the the LED display, the seven segment LED display. I I put in the transistors to show that um if if you wanted to draw the maximum current that might be more than what the microcontroller could handle you would need a transistor because we're now drawing nearly 29 milliamps which is much more than the PIC uh, output pins should have on them so what we need here is to use the transistor now another thing you, you could you could just change out these two resistors and bring this down to 20 milliamps okay but uh, the maximum current that you can put through uh, a PIC microcontroller uh, all out of every pin, the sum of it, the maximum I believe is 250 milliamps so we wouldn't be long before we'd overstretch that limit if we were um, if we were putting 20 milliamps out on every pin of the chip uh, I'm not sure how many output pins, I think there's 16 output pins so you'd be be drawn uh, quite a large current and it'll be much better to use our transistor uh, so I'm just gonna set up this transistor now Let's switch this around connect the transistor to the LEDs this is an NPN transistor we need to supply a positive voltage now to the transistor to turn it on now we have our LEDs on but now look now we're only drawn 4.1 milliamps so you could uh, you could power much more LEDs by drawing this current so because uh, like I was saying with the limit of the chip uh, well on this chip it mightn't be as big a deal because it doesn't have that many outputs but you could have a 28 pin chip and if you were drawing 20 milliamps on that you'd very 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 quickly uh, build up the uh, build up to the 250 milliamp limit and probably exceed it whereas if you had a transistor to drive your LEDs then you could um, you could drive much more of them without risking damaging your microcontroller um, now where well, this would be useful for the RC tractor guys say you have a row of four spot lamps on the top of your tractor cab now, you'd only be drawn uh, around about four milliamps to power all four LEDs and you could get the maximum 
current out of them, which it could be maybe 80 milliamps. I'm not, I'm not sure what you'd actually get. You probably you'd, you'd keep it less than that. Say maybe about 60 milliamps for all of them, and that'd that'd give you great light out the front of your tractor or any other RC model that you wanted to build. Um, I'm not sure what other applications really you'd be using the LEDs for. They are quite bright. It's very hard to look at them. So. But that's that's the reasoning behind the the transistor. Um, why I was uh, showing you an example of that in the previous uh, in the previous tutorial in the seven segment LED display. So I hope that clears up any questions that you guys had. And um, if you have any further questions, uh, please feel free to add them in the comment section, or you can post them on the forum, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to answer them. That's all that's all I have for this video and uh, thanks for watching.